What is going on guys and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Before we go ahead and dive in today, I wanted to show you guys we got some goodies that have come in. Uh, this is our bad 470 that we're still working on finding a method to fix it. But we have our first 8 gig card here. Uh, this is a 580 8 gig card that I nabbed off of uh, Offers Up. Uh, I did end up getting this card um, for $250 US. So I'm excited about that. That'll be my first 8 gig card. Um, and you might wonder, well, where are you going to put it? You know, this is full. Uh, we just swapped out, uh, you know, that one and put in the 570 here in our previous videos. So we actually have a, uh, they call it like a, a baker's wire rack uh, here. And there's metal racking. Uh, and I have been working with the guys over at Mi Misfits Mining. Um, and uh, they're actually going to be sending me in the next like two or three weeks the GPU hangers. Um, because these VETA frames are so expensive now. Um, so I'm going to actually put a wire rack up like almost over top of this that's going to come over top so this is going to be wire racking here this monitor actually just swings um so we're going to put the wire racking up above this here and we're going to hang gpus from here so i've started you know we got one here i'm hoping we get this guy working here and then i want to start buying more eight gig cards but so we have a second set of fans here for cooling um, we have our breakout boards uh, that'll connect to these HP uh, server power supplies. We got two of those. We have two boards. So we're setting ourselves up to fully expand moving forward. On top of that, I bought, um, I have GPU risers coming too from GPURisers.com based off of the Red Panda mining recommendation. So these are actually three foot USB-A to USB-A cables because we're going to need those to go from the board all the way up to where the cards are going to be hanging. So I bought three foot ones versus most GPU risers only come with two foot. And these are actually the braided cables, so a little higher quality. We also do have a little bit longer of our um, our, our eight pin to, uh, or I'm sorry, six pin to six plus eight or six plus two. Wow, let's start that over. These are six pin that go into the power supplies here that go to six plus two that will go into the um, GPUs or the risers as well. Um, so we've been kind of getting all of our all of our gear, all the hardware we need. Uh, we're going to be building this out in a future video here to get ready. And so my thought is, is I have two thoughts, guys. First, keep the VETA frame and build and stack it on top up here. Or second, build the entire wire frame. Actually, like it'll be twice the height of this TV here, and get rid of and move all of this over to here and do my entire setup in a wire uh, rack setup and sell the VETA frame. The VETA frame you can get, you know, two, three hundred dollars for and I could buy another card with that. You know, I could buy another 580 eight gigabit card if I look hard enough. So anyways, today I'm going to go ahead and power down this rig and we're going to shut this down and we're going to pull this out into a table in the middle and then we're going to swap out the fans with these new ones here and power it up. So that was a quick recap of what we got coming and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so we shut down the mining rig. I know, dirty basement. We're getting there, we're cleaning up slowly. We shut it down, um, we went ahead and, and let it cool for a little bit and we moved it over to this table. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is now we're gonna go ahead one at a time. We're gonna pull out these old fans and then they actually are all, see how they're all like wired up right here. We have to go ahead and cut that. Um, so we're gonna, let me go ahead and do that. Uh, and then when I come back guys, we'll go ahead and power this on and bam, you guys will get a chance to see these new fans. We're going to be cranky when it comes to my, the CFM up to 86 and it's going to look damn good with RGB. I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, I thought I'd show you some of the stuff that we're doing here. So we went ahead and disconnected all the fans and uh, this is how the fans were previously connected. So this end here uh, went ahead and has a four pin, uh, three pin, sorry. And then... Look at this, look at this spidery mess. This is just a one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a it's a, a three pin male to a six pin female to plug into all of our fans here. So we're going ahead and I just removed that. And then here is actually how things will be organized moving forward. Um, we do have a, a fan controller point here. It's got a double-sided tape on the back, so we'll find a good spot for this. And then it'll have one wire running in the motherboard and then all the fans come directly into this guy. All right, so we'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, so we're making progress. So we got rid of the old fans. We took the brackets off. 
These are the new ones here. Now, as you can see, these have two cables to them. One is for RGB and then one is for power. Um, on top of that, they didn't come with the covers, so we're gonna put the same covers on. Uh, they did come with new fan screws, which will be nice. And then look at this stack of 3M uh, double-sided sticky that we do have as well. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep building this and I'll check back in in just a second when it's all built and ready to go. All right, we got some more light in here for you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, as you can see, the fans are good. They actually came together pretty quickly. Um, the, I didn't realize like how easy these were put together. You know, granted, I just had to look at it. So um, this is all set. You know, each one's kind of entangled and you just have to make sure when you're doing this that you check the direction of the fins for the direction of the air so you don't get through this whole thing and then the air is blowing this way so we are doing a push through the gpus here versus if you really wanted to i know some people will do a uh, push through and then on the opposite side do a um a push as well um or you know they'll do a push pull type of scenario so they'll push this way and then on the other side another set of fans and push that way which you could do that you could do a set of fans across here and then do another set on the other side and just push pull the air right through it uh, for cooling. But a little bit of an overkill for what we got going on here. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and get this uh, in the rack. We're going to get uh, this guy installed and wired up. And so hopefully that in the next little video snippet, uh, we're powering this on together. Alrighty, so we got our fans in place. Uh, a little tricky to get that mounted, but it worked out great. Um, so now, as I said, each one of these fans has two, one for the RGB and one for the power for the fan. So what I was looking at was they, they, each one has two, as I said, so two, four, six, eight, ten. So what they do is they wire down to the this controller box here, trying to get some better lighting. And each one has a port. So like fan four there has two ports, one for power, one for RGB. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything wired over to this. And then I actually, it has double-sided tape. Like I might put it right on the bar here um, because the farthest fan has to stretch versus the last ones. They were almost like daisy chained almost a little bit together. So the, and so what the last wire management went across and then went down these are going to have to go like they almost have to go to a central point and then go over so uh, i'm going to get all the wiring done dude this is a mess i gotta like spend a saturday and like clean this up hardcore uh but i'm gonna get all the wiring done and then we'll hopefully turn this on the one thing i did notice is this does have its own so two things first off has its own power key or, or uh power button probably for the rgb is my guess and you need to powder the power this with sata all right i'll be right back Alrighty guys, so we are back. Um, took a little longer than I expected, but everything usually does. So as you can see here, I try to get some better lighting. I used I used the wire ties that came with it the best I could. So I couldn't go completely across because the cable was taunt. And we came down here to our controller, uh, which worked out well. Uh, we do have it being powered by SATA, which is great. And then on the right hand side here, here's our power button. Sorry about the camera there. And then we're going directly into our CPU um, fan header there. So other than that, um, let's go ahead and uh, power this on and uh, let's see what we get. Alrighty, so we're on our front side here. So let's go ahead and reach in, follow along here. And uh, all right, so our half of our setup is on, powered up, good to go. Uh, let's turn this on. And then our power button's actually on the left-hand side here. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I just stood right here. The amount of air that's coming through here, significantly more. Signific I could feel it like right here. Significantly more air is flowing through this sucker right now. That is awesome. And it's not actually too much louder. Look at this on the back side. Yeah. All right. Let me go ahead here and I'm going to power off a light here. We'll turn these lights. We're going to turn the lights completely around. There we go. I powered off one light. I'm going to come over here. These are just, um, led panels. Nice. All right. Let's take a look here. I wonder if that button looks good. Let's check this button right here. Oh, we can hear the fans on the GPUs kicking up. 
Oh, snap. What color should we do? Comment down below. What color should we run? Is there a rainbow one? Where is it? It's got to be in here. Oh, damn. There's your red panda mining red right there. Green. Wow. Blue. Yellow. Cyan. It's like pink, purple. Uh, is that like a yellowish? There we go. Nice. That looks so good. It's just like a combination of all of them. Yeah, that looks awesome. I'm so excited. Isn't it funny? Yes, we're excited for more uh, for the for the higher CFM. Remember, 86 versus 36. Yeah, but right here, I'm standing right here, and it is I'm getting quite a bit of air on me right now, which is going to be great for the cooling. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Because I'm excited. All right, cool. Other than that, I think that's it for today, guys. Um, so I'm going to get this thing powered down, get it put back in place over there. And uh, I think in the next few videos, I, I don't know what we're going to do. If we're going to stay this setup in the VETA frame or if we're going to do a full wire rack uh, and do hanging for our entire setup. We'll have to see. Anyways, guys, thank you guys very much for joining me. Don't forget to click subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.